Yo, what is up, y'all? Welcome back to another Dragon Ball Legends video. Today, we got a very special, special showcase for one of my most safe. I mean, this is probably the unit that actually really got me into this game, honestly. Uh, Red Revival Cell here. I'm gonna be honest with you, I started playing during the second anniversary. Uh, actually, probably late second anniversary, because I remember the banners were literally going away, and my, dem my dumbass had been summoned. Um, but as you guys know, uh, Cell is one of my favorite Dragon Ball characters, so it was perfect timing because uh, a couple of months later, uh, this this unit dropped, and I was very happy. I was very, very happy to also get this guy, like, I think I got him, like, first multi, um, I mean, first rotation on the uh, LF Majin Vegeta banner, and I was so happy, dude. Um, but yeah, I think because of this unit is the only reason why I'm a Dragon Ball Legends player, because um, I think, well, this is my second time coming back to the game, because the first time I came back, Yellow Perfect Cell uh, dropped, right? Uh, the sparking one that came out with LF Gohan, and I didn't get him, so I left the game. <laughs> and then fast forward, like, almost two years later, uh, like, pretty much the second anniversary, is, uh, I was all about to finish, my friends are hyping it up, mainly my friends in real life, and I was like, you know what, F.A., I don't saw, I started playing a bit, because uh, I was already, like, I was already, like, pretty much, like, somewhat of a Dragon Ball fan, but I wasn't too, too, like, deep into it, but I'll admit, Legends got me more into, like, Dragon Ball and shit like that, so, I'll admit, right, because for the longest, I was just watching, like, the anime, uh, whenever I can. Uh, I wasn't like too anything crazy, right? I didn't play a lot of the games. I think the most is I, I paid Fighters on release because uh, I bought it with Monster Hunter World. But like, I'll be honest with you, Legends uh, really, really got me back into like Dragon Ball, like hardcore. Um, perfect timing though. When Soul dropped, I was getting back into the game. So perfect. Uh, I'm in Revival Cell. So here he is. He's maxed out 14 stars. As you guys know, this guy is aged. He is uh, not that good. He needs a Zenkai, like ASAP. Please give him a Zenkai, Toshi. <laughs> First, Zenkai the Yellow Cell, then give this guy a Zenkai. Um, if this guy Zenkai sometime this year, like later on, like late 2022, uh, I, I will honestly wouldn't mind that. I think his Zenkai would be pretty hype considering he, he was the first Revival unit and will technically be the first Revival Zenkai. Um, I doubt anyone else will get a Zenkai before him. He's actually like probably one of the worst Revival units. Well, I mean, Klapku's up there, right? But I think uh, Klapku at least is defensively good. But uh, as we know, that uh, offensively, that unit's bad. I will say, though, offensively, this unit could still put in some work. Not as crazy, but his blast could still like be pretty good, right? Um, for the most part, being a revival unit is uh, like double-edged sword, right? If you either you either run into uh, <laughs> you either run into himself, Perfect Cell, or you run into Super Saiyan for Gogeta, and you just get like obliterated, you get ass fucked. Um, or you don't run into that and you do pretty good. But if you don't run into that, you're either running into that or Ultra Gogeta. And Ultra Gogeta just one shots this unit with every card he does. Um, Ultra Gogeta farts on him and he's dead. Uh, but I think overall the bench is really good. He can actually get three times Zenkai buffed. But I think overall this is like the best setup because you have <laughs> literally the best LF in the game. So uh, I mean, obviously we know, right? This guy could get double Zenkai buffed. I mean, triple Zenkai buffed by where is he? Um, this guy. I, I could get a Zenkai right now, but like I said, I don't really think it's that worth it. Um, overall, the clips are good. Um, I try to give him the most defensive clips I had, and I, this is what I came up came up with, right? I mean, base health right here, strike, strike defense, blast defense, strike defense, blast defense, strike attack, and then double blast attack and strike defense, blast defense. And it's kind of hard to pinpoint what he is because, okay, if we take a look right here, he's, he's actually pretty bad designed. I hope he fixes in his Zenkai, but, um, oh, my bad. Um, right here, uh... He holds two blast, but he does more strike damage. So like, he does more on strikes. Like I mean, it isn't anything too crazy of a difference, right? But it's like, like usually when units like these, right, when they hold two blast cards, their ratio to blast to strike damage is actually like incredibly like noticeable, right? Most times they even have like more. Uh, they have like a 30, 30, like thirty k thousand like difference, right? And it's like it's it's noticeable, right? It's definitely noticeable. But with him, it's like, you're holding two blast cards and you're doing equal amount. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Because once you once you have this, right, the holding the two blast cards, like, the entire hand is going to be constantly being nothing but blast. And, I mean, you're still going to be getting strikes, right? But it's not going to be as much strikes as compared to blast. So it's just, I don't know, it's very dumb. And, I mean, they do this with units, right? With, like, UI Goku and, uh, obviously, like, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, where UI Goku has more uh, blast damage. I mean, well, more blast. He has more strike damage, like, like this kind of. But he's range type, but he holds a blast and a strike. I said with Evolution Vegeta, he's a range type, holds both a strike and blast, but his strike is like almost basically similar to his blast. Um, but is this unit? This unit is a range type, holds two blasts, but his strike is more than his blast. Like it doesn't make any sense. Um, I don't know. I hope they fix that with the Zenkai. Make it just more straight up that he does more blasts. I wouldn't mind that at all. Um, 
because I mean, for the most part, the androids and Cell they both hold a one for one. Um, but I mean, uh, enough of that. The equips. This is what I have standard for Cell, standard for androids. Um, for him, I could have probably gotten better, but to be honest, I just get what I get, and what I have right now is actually like, not that bad. This equip I did reroll recently um, because I thought this equip wasn't that bad, but now that I'm thinking about it, I just think what I have for the androids is just like way better. I mean. I mean, just look at this. They, they don't need the extra uh, health, in my opinion. Just, just personally for me, because I mean, just look at what they're getting. They're already getting like a lot offensively. Um, I like, I like what they have. So enough about that. That's just the team. Uh, let's get into the PVP matches. You know, in the beginning, I was mentioning how like the only two units we have to worry about were like <laughs> Super Saiyan Four Gogeta and. <laughs> And uh, LFL, but I completely forgot about Beers because, like, Beers, you just rarely see him. Um, I'm just gonna do that for the blue card. Oh, he's just tapped right there. Okay, I'm just gonna show. I'm just gonna do this right now. Yeah, get him to switch. And I'll just charge, and as soon as I, he, as soon as he makes me vanish. So you better make this <laughs> Nice! Is this one shot? Is this one shot? Yes! 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 Just DC. He gave up. Did he? Yeah, he gave up. Alright, well... <laughs> nice first match! Nice first match, LF Android. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, my whole plan was to just make him switch to Kyle Ken already. Um, and, I mean, I wanted to switch to Androids, but I'm like, eh, he's just gonna stay with LF Beerus. There's no point. Um, switching to Android, just wanted to wait for the, the other switch in, which uh, turned out pretty well. And my dogs are barking, they're probably barking at the neighbor's dogs, god damn it. Um, I mean, <laughs> it was a good first match. I was a little worried for Beerus, like, Beerus didn't do shit. <laughs> Beerus did nothing. Um, very good match, uh, not by Revival Cell, but I mean, here's the thing Revival Cell, ever since he came out, or not even when he came out, it was a little bit after once people started realizing what his true value was, is he was always supposed to be uh, a rush, like, to tank rushes to eat them. Um, that was his goal, right? You either uh, survive a really, really deadly combo and just hop into him, die, you know, they use an ult, good ults usually nullify endurance. In this case, they're not going to be able to nullify his survival, or you just swap in with the rising rush and you just get them like that. But there's just so many, there's just like, not even so many counters, just a couple of like, like, like mid, I'm going to be honest with you, like mid anti-revivals, like Goku and Vegeta have like a pretty like, eh, anti-revival, a Vegeta, a Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. But then you look at Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta, and like, LF Cell, like, they have like, actual like, anti-revivals. And just straight up Beerus has anti-nullified, I mean, revival nullified, yeah, stupid. <laughs> revival nullified effect, and um, like, those three are just like, very scary, so, just funny how I ran into the first one. I wouldn't be surprised if we went into a Super Saiyan for Gogeta next, uh, or like, something like that, but enough of me talking, let's get into the next match. Oh my god, we literally got Ultra Gogeta and Super Safe for Gogeta in the same match. Ah. It's funny because he had Kefla and uh, Zenkai Gogeta. He's obviously trying to Zenkai buffer and he didn't even bring you. So at least there's that, right? There isn't that much of a good bench because um, he was trying to, I guess, do Kefla. But um, doesn't matter. Speaking of two, uh, I remember I before when I was testing out his team, like an, I want to say uh, like a couple of minutes before I recorded this video, I did have a really good match. And I'm thinking if I should just go to replay and commentary it and commentate it. So I can show you guys because I think it was like a pretty decent match. Like the units weren't that start up, but um, this cell after he revives, he, he he does a little bit better job at tanking. I'll say that. And then with all the Zenkai buffs and everything, it's pretty good. So I'll see if I should show that. But I don't know. I was kind of a low start team, like a four star Goku and Vegeta, I think, and like a Zenkai six, like uh, LF Vegeta, uh, Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. So I don't know. I'll think about it. Okay, we'll see what happens right here. Nice. That's exactly what we want. So you'd better make this fun. All right, swap. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Thank you. Talking to him. Not bad. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Uh, 
You know, I don't know why in my my tiny ass brain I thought that was like a I, I thought that was a strike. I do not know why. I do not know why. I also do not know why you're doing that. I do not know why. Thank you though. Thank you. Thank you for the free combo. Yes. Thank you for the free combo and the free rush. Hopefully this kills. <laughs> Hopefully this kills. <laughs> uh, I'm probably gonna get guessed anyways because we have a pretty standard hand right here. Um, I mean, Revival Cell, uh, he did some decent damage to... Uh, which unit was he doing damage to? I actually forgot. <laughs> was it Super Saiyan for Gogeta? Or was it Oob? He, I mean, he did some pretty decent. I mean, look at him, he's leaning back right here, yeah, but yeah. Uh, it's just like, so we're running into like all the anti-revival units and stuff, and it's just so annoying. Like, we're running into Super Saiyan for Gogeta and Beerus, like, come on, bro. What do you want me to do? Like, seriously. Oh, no, we're gonna get caught right here. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. No, bro. Does this one shot? Oh, he probably does. I want to switch him to 17 so I can get rid of his rush, but... The one shot. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. Okay, come on. No, you're not getting that. You're not getting that. I'm sorry. Destroy Dragon Ball and you're not getting that. You're not getting that, kid. Calm down. Okay. <laughs> I want I want to do something, but it's just so hard to when you get PV'd. Thank you, game. I'll die. Okay. Damn it. I didn't really think he would just click it. <laughs> I mean, I did the same thing too, but I initiated. This, this motherfucker really didn't do anything. Let's go! Yeah, I get fucked! Get fucked! That's what you get for being trash. That's what you get, bro. Now, Revival Soul Carry. Revival Soul Carry. Carry, Revival Soul. Carry, 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 carry. Wait, what? Hello? 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 Did he... Did he... Did I, didn't I make him use his Vanish? What happened? I'm so confused. Alright, well, whatever. Uh, I hope we don't get sold by Ultra Goji, though. I really hope we don't, but that's what probably was gonna come down to, huh? Yeah. I mean, what else am I? Sp I mean, I could have backed up probably, but he's gonna just press the strike anyways. Okay, I, I guess. I guess. Okay. For the showcase. Oh my God, bro. Ultra Gogeta, dude. No way you have a rush. He has a rush. There you go, bro. God damn, dude. I'm really about to lose because I'm trying to showcase a unit. <laughs> die. 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 God, Ultra Gogeta, man. Also, his win pose is still sexy. So, oh, okay. It's so basic, but so sexy. Um, oh, that's the thing. He just, he just isn't that good, man. Like, you swap into him and he dies. <laughs> and it just sucks because we're going against Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So, it's like, you, know, you, you kind of don't want to get rushed by him with uh, Perfect Cell. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I might just do one more. Honestly, yeah, I guess I'll do one more. Uh, it's just it's just so frustrating playing, uh, you know, in 2022 Revival So when there's so many anti-revivals and you just cannot tank. Uh, we'll do one more, though. I think it wouldn't hurt, right? Yeah, it wouldn't hurt. My dogs are barking, but um, I, I don't see any, uh, any crazy anti-revivals here. 
<laughs> I, I don't see any crazy answer revivals here. I just see that mid ass Goku and Vegeta revival. Let me see. Hold up. Let me see. Let me see. I don't even do that, bro. Come on, bro. Yeah. He's gonna swap into Vado, so. Yeah. No, he didn't. Wait, what? Why? Oh, okay. I guess he believes they could tank this better. Okay. I was really hoping he would swipe midway through. Alright. Okay, might as well. Sure, Dragon Ball as well. Damn, he did a lot right there. What the hell? Wait, what? Ah, oh, I'm retarded, I guess. All right, come on, Cell. You should be able to tank this, right? Soak this up. Come on, bro. Come on. Come on. Come on. Soak it up. Soak it up. Soak it up. Soak that thing up. Soak it up, come on. Alright, we're just gonna swap into them. Really? You risked it, dude. Okay, what if I do this? I had the right idea! I, I had the right idea, alright? I thought he was gonna blast. Man, I thought he was gonna blast. I'm gonna have to eat this. No, you're not getting that. Damn it, dude. That was, that was really good by him. I'm gonna get my revival pop right here. Yeah, this Goku. This Goku just does too much. It was a really good showing, though, but I mean, it's just this Goku does so much and Cell does so little. I could've, I could've, I could've done something like that. Sucks because he has his vanish back, um, but I mean, what else am I supposed to do? <laughs> Damn, dude, you really don't know how to calm down, huh? Okay, dude, like, calm down, seriously. We're just gonna rush right here. I'm just gonna rush, dude. I have to, dude. What else? Because it's either like he's gonna, he's gonna like risk it all again for some reason. I don't know why he did that earlier. Probably gonna pop my main right away. I have no other choice. I have no vanish. If I swap into 18 of them, he's just gonna rush me. Cause I haven't done much to destroy Dragon Balls and stuff like that. Okay, nice. We get rid of him right here. You know what? Let's see what you could do. Can, can you kill right here? Please kill, bro. Please kill. Please kill. No, bro. I'm gonna go right away because that's what he's just been doing. That did a lot, though. That's good. I like that. That's what I like. That's what I like. That's what I like, baby! <laughs> no! God damn it. Okay. Right. You know he doesn't have a vanish anymore, so it do not matter. 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 Let's see this tanking by cell. Let's see this tanking by cell. Odd like tanking. Look at that. Fantastic. Oh, he has a blue card. Piece of shit. He has a blue card. Damn, dude. Come down. Okay. Okay. Thank you. What? Wait, you got his vanish that quick? Are you serious? Okay, okay, calm down, bro. I just, I just wanted to end with Cell. Come on, dude. Oh my God, bro. These units are so annoying. I couldn't even end it with Cell. Okay. Can't even end it with Cell. Come on, dude. That's actually so annoying. Oh, 
Oh my god, these units heal so much. God damn it, dude. Really? Okay, just send the combo over here. Alright, get out my match. God damn it, dude. Why was that so annoying? <laughs> I mean, does this kill, right? Oh no, it doesn't. Okay, it does. <laughs> god, why was, that, why was that so frustrating, dude? <laughs> Oh god, Revive Assault is so good. You know what threw me off is that he, he, he got it, you know what? He did do a long combo, so that was to be expected, but... It was just, I was figured, okay, after he's done with this combo, he, he, he already vanished. So I'm just popping the green card, but I wasn't considering the fact that he did such a fucking long-ass combo. God. Um, if only Goku and Vegeta could be like that without a bunch of Senkai buffs, then they would be good, but they, as you guys could see, they have to do, like... A shitload of combos to do that, and uh, most times so that just you just can't do that in Legends when you don't have uh, anti cover all the time, or um, you know just Ultra Kyle can constantly getting his uh, vanish back and <laughs> just constantly doing actually like actual good damage. So uh, if you're wondering why Goku and Vegeta fell off, that's why. Because even after all that, like it pretty easily, I think Kyle and Goku can like out damage them like very easily. But that was a pretty good match. I mean, like I played pretty pretty well. I'm going to the end. I mean, to be fair, right, um, his stars were decent, my stars were decent, uh, and to be fair, he, we were both running some mid, right? Like, your, your idealist setup is, uh, yellow, green, 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 god key, and he was running, like, the op, like, some watered-down version of that, I don't even know, the poor man's version of green, green, yellow, except with Goku and Vegeta. Um, and I was obviously running the, the, the inferior option as well of the androids, because ideally you want future Gohan, the red android and lf cell but instead i was running revival cell <laughs> cell and the android so it's just like you know we both we both were kind of neck to neck and like uh like okay teams well uh, so i, I want to say that i did pretty good right there um against like an evenly matched team right i think uh, obviously both of our teams could have been a bit better but for me i'm just doing the showcase so i have a reason to be using this uh fodder i'm sorry i really wanted to end it off with revival cell so i think that was my fault i was I was trying too hard to end it off with him, and that's what almost cost me the match again. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think last match was just Ultra Vegeta being Ultra Gogeta. Um, nah, it was just this match then, yeah. Um, but I think that's it. That was a pretty good showing by him. Uh, Toshi, if you're watching this, please Zenkai him. Um, but to be fair, I would like to see the yellow cell get a Zenkai first, because uh, he got robbed. He, sh he should have gotten a Zenkai. I don't know why a lot of people want another Goku to get a Zenkai. Um, especially since they're just gonna make a mid. Let's be honest. They're gonna they're gonna make another Sun Family unit mid Zenkai. We haven't had a good Zenkai Sun Family unit in forever. Cause remember what the last the last Zenkai Sun Family unit, uh, the actual good one was, right? It was a lot of people like to say um, uh, Death Buffs Goku, but to be fair, that's if you read his name, that's literally all he does. Cause his damage is trash. I mean, he could. I mean, you 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 sack him off right for rushes, which is cool. That's cool, but other than dying, what else does he do? <laughs> like, at least I remember with, um, what was it called? Vegeta when he was relevant. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta. At least he was able to, like, take off Rising Rushes just in case the, the opponent didn't, uh, didn't rush. I mean, didn't rush, he just killed you straight up. And then on top of that, he healed. Like, the death buff Goku, he just gives good death buffs. That's pretty much it. He doesn't even heal. He doesn't do too much, honestly. I would say the Rising Rush manipulation is pretty good, but even then, like, you look at his team, like, movies isn't really that good. Because Revival Gohan, Revival Gohan, um, there's mixed opinions about him, but in my opinion, I don't even think that he, that it's not that he has more stars, or that he need people need more stars with him, it's just the fact that he just, he's aged, like, we're in a meta where a bunch of anti-revival units are existing, and units do so much damage, so, you know, that's why, another reason why units like this, and Revival Gohan get, like, three-carded, two-carded, Revival Gohan post revival gets carded like like easily and same same as this cell. Uh, so I think easily this cell should get a Zenkai, but like I was saying, uh, I don't know. Like units are units, but uh, in terms of this unit, this unit, uh, I don't know. Like I, I'm just saying right now, it should have been the, the perfect cell, the, the yellow one, because they're just gonna make that Goku mid. At least with the cell, they probably would have tried because um, I mean it's a villain unit, right? A lot of people aren't running villain units. Um, it's just the way it is. That's why you see more out. Ultra Kaoken Gokus and Ultra Gogetas. So they could have his Zenkai could have been good, um, but uh, I don't know. I'm just hoping we get we get those Zenkais because we're we're due for that Yellow Cell Zenkai, and this this Cell Zenkai should be coming up. Uh, but enough of me ranting, right? Um, that's pretty much the showcase. Let me know what y'all think about him. Um, do you really want him to see a Zenkai? If you get the Zenkai, what do you want to see in his kit? Personally, 
I would love, I would love to see some uh, Dragon Ball manipulation just to make him really annoying and to make like androids like LOE V2 because you have these two units already taking away Dragon Ball, so you have this unit taking away Dragon Balls. Like, kind of like Revival Freezer, right? Like, as soon as you revive, you're able to take away Dragon Balls. I would love to see that. I would love that. And then also make it so that when you use his green card, um, he has like anti, uh, anti cover change for like, fuck it, 20 timer counts. Just make him like really good, dude. That's what I want to see, man. That's, that's. That's what I really want to see. Oof, just thinking about it, man. Just, oh, hopefully they don't flop on his Zenkai. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Peace.